Good morning, folks. We've got the top articles here today. More astronomy surprises, solar forcing, and a surprise admission slipped into the journals about climate models. We are going to begin, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, where, as we saw in last night's video, the CME impact did occur as expected, and as expected, it was weak, producing only minor geomagnetic unrest. The remainder of the sun was very quiet. We only had one small M-class flare, the plasma filament activity was stable, and we're left only with watching what is actually quite a number of sunspot groups, all of which happen to be quiet at this time. Six separate active regions on the Earth-facing side at the moment, would be unlikely that all would remain quiet again today. But let's go ahead and head into the science articles. Is anyone else amazed at just how often their models are broken by a new discovery? This time the challenge comes from powerfully magnetic stars in their development. These fields break the mold for what they thought was possible during their youthful stage in stellar evolution. Up next, Nearly every galaxy cluster they see far away is in its collision phase. It's only the older groups that find quiescence, except this one wildly breaks that mold again. It is the most distant galaxy cluster ever found that is not having ongoing collisions with its neighbors or other groups. Nice solidification here of the long-term solar forcing of major climate patterns, including the identification of the 1500-year cycle in the data. Interestingly, while pretty much demanded by the models and what they know about superflare cycles, the 1500-year solar impact is actually not as numerously discovered in the geologic data, making this one quite important. Last but not least, I'm kind of surprised this one made it past peer review and into a major journal, discussing the ways that climate models make omissions that can mislead researchers, policymakers, and the public. Attempts to rectify those omissions sound like a good idea to me, but call me suspicious that they'll actually fix the major problems polluting those models, especially when it comes to the sun and Earth's magnetic field impact. We greatly appreciate your support. Check out the resources in the video description box below. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.